Oh, that is some kind of garbage. Exactly what I wanted. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, today's episode is brought to you by Starbucks Double Shot Energy, Guarana B Vitamins and Ginseng Energy Coffee Beverage. More like double shit. Ay. Yay! This one is <sighs> vanilla, flavored with other natural flavors. It definitely tastes like other natural flavors. If you would like another glowing endorsement like this, send us a whole bunch of your stuff and we'll drink it while we play. <laughs> <laughs> I promise only the best endorsements. <laughs> Die, you filthy normal. No, 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 no. It's the you filthy normal. <laughs> when I return to the lab, I am greeted by Mayuri's smile and Daru's pure hatred. Since when does a Chinibyo patient like you rate a girlfriend? It's not right, man. How'd your date with Luka-chan go? Well... <laughs> Stage clear, somehow. Probably. <laughs> date achievement acquired! <laughs> Probably not, actually. I like how Mayuri is absolutely in on the ground floor here. <laughs> Komima's the day after tomorrow, you know? What if you and Luka-chan go as a cosplay couple? I'll make you a skimpy costume, too! Aww! <laughs> Wait, isn't this the timeline where they already tried to do the Tokri? Wait, really? Yeah, remember in the bad episode? Everyone kept thinking that Okarin's constant protestations meant that Mayuri took it as, Oh, Okarin, do you want to do crossplay too? I don't remember this, you don't but remember that's that? really good. That's fine, because that was part of the bad episode. Okay, we don't talk I blocked about it out from my mind. Anyway, maybe you can persuade her to go now that you're her boyfriend. I get, the weirdest thing about all this is the implication that if Okabe had just played his cards right, he could have been dating literally anyone in this group, which is the most unrealistic part, honestly. Welcome to every <laughs> visual novel. Hey! <laughs> she never says yes to me, and I've asked her so many times, too. Wait, Mayuri's asked Luca to be her girlfriend? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's what I took from that. But if Okarin asks her, then I'm sure she'll say, okay. I refuse. <laughs> eh? Why? <laughs> when did we decide that every single one of the A's has to be fucking Sakura's? <laughs> card captor Sakura's. Eh? <laughs> because Komima is on the 15th. Mayuri is fated to die that night. How am I supposed to spend the hours before her death cosplaying at Komima? Pretty easily, actually. <laughs> to be honest, I don't really get this whole dating thing. <laughs> oh, Karin, that sentence had too many words in it. Apologize! Apologize. <laughs> One of these days we'll finish playing Borderlands too. <laughs> Gah. Okarin, you idiot. Those words are an insult to virgins the world over. Apologize. Apologize to the virgins. <laughs> Just think about it. All you do is walk, eat, and go home, and the whole time you have to worry about what your partner is thinking. You know, Mr. Torg would actually be a great person to go on a date with. <laughs> Just thinking about it. <laughs> He's bi, right? He's canon bi? I can't Pretty remember. Sure. What's 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 fun about being canonically bisexual? <laughs> Lots of things, Okarine. 
Don't say that, Okarin. You'll make Luka-chan sad. Mayuri's expression is uncharacteristically serious. This is serious business. <laughs> Sorry for the snort ASMR. <laughs> you know, just being with the person she likes is enough to make a girl happy. That's all she really needs. Wow, that's quite the insight, Mayuri. Where'd that come from? <laughs> Doesn't being together make boys happy too? Hell yeah. I don't know why I'm speaking on behalf of boys here. If not, that makes Mayuri sad. You know what? No, I used to be a boy so I can speak from experience. <laughs> Why would that make Mayuri sad? I love that despite everything, Daru's the one that gets canonically laid here. <laughs> <laughs> Okarin's the minority. I mean, dates are a great opportunity for HC. Like, of everyone here, he's the only one that we know has sex at least once. So far, as from what oh, we know. Okay, so far. From okay. what we know. I was going to say, that's not the case, but not from what we know now. E exactly. You're an idiot, Daru. Pretty H? <laughs> what does H mean? Come on, holding hands and stuff's pretty H, isn't it? And when your arm and arm and her boob hits your elbow, that's like super mega H. What is H? So, H, H, E, that whole Oh, thing. it stands for H, E. Oh, that, oh. Daru. Ugh. And at the end of the day, you kiss, right? Damn you, death to normals. Fucking hell, Daru. Play too much arrow guy. Still can't believe he gets a game to himself. What an asshole. Hey, hey, when did Luka chan fall for Okarin? When? Well, it's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Define kids, when. the story of. Define when. <laughs> nice. Well, I was going like, all right, kids, the story of how I met your mother. <laughs> Ugh. I swear this coffee drink tastes like oversweet jizz. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> it's like I just blew a fire hose that was nothing but like frosting in it. Ugh. Oh, right, it's my line. That is your line. I was really surprised when you said it didn't matter, but at the same time, it really made me happy. I mean, you're the one who does most of the lines. Yeah. Which is weird, come to think of it. Yeah. I play everybody, it hurts. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ever since you said those words. At least we're not like professional voice actors and we have to like remember voices and everything. <laughs> Could you imagine that? <laughs> That'd be some shit right there. I like you. Aww. Protect that smile. <laughs> I think back on what she said as I belch. It tastes like sugary jizz. <laughs> Something still feels off about her story. I said that Luca's gender didn't matter. Remember that clearly. But <laughs> And I still believe it. <laughs> right, something here doesn't make sense. Now I know it feels out of place. I wouldn't have said that to I wouldn't have been as awkward Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> My memories don't line up. And I don't have a way to rewrite it. <laughs> I recall what happened with Ferris. I remember Nya. I remember nine times. The wish Ferris made was to save Papa, who died ten years ago. Yeah. yeah, that was really fucked up that she suddenly remembered stuff. Yeah. Ferris regained her memories from before she sent the D-mail. 
could Lukako too have remembered the previous world line where she was trans and not cis? <laughs> that would explain everything. However, she remembers that event and she said she liked me for it, so. Did Luka Lukako like me even when she was trans? I hope so. I would really still love to date her when we get back to the regular <laughs> world line. I think I need to check this out. The next morning, I head to the shrine to meet with Lukako. Hey, Luka, you want some of this jizz? Get you know what? Actually, that sounds wrong in this context. Yeah. The jizz refers to this coffee drink I have in my hand. <laughs> Do you want some of this coffee drink that tastes like sugary jizz? Don't ask how I know what it. You know what? Do you want some? I'm ruining this. <laughs> Okabe's trying real hard. Okay. <laughs> She's already waiting in the courtyard when she sees me. She smiles and waves her hand. Too cute. Too cute. Yes, Okabe, I'd love some of that jizz coffee. <laughs> Good morning. I'm sorry I took your line. To say, I just really committed. Mama, M, morning. <laughs> Um, where are we going today? Before that. Yes? Okabe leans in close, grabbing <laughs> Luka's chin by his hand. She seems flustered at first as her cheek... Hold on, it's the wrong script. Uh, mm, <clears throat> here we go. I make up my mind and throw out the question. Oh, this one's less good. We should have gone with the other one. Do you have any memories from previous world lines? Hmm. Lukako twitches for a moment, and then she hangs her head. N no, I don't. Really? Lukako just nods stiffly. I consider a more forceful approach, but the words of that dating manual blaze inside my head. Whatever you do, don't make the girl sad. You might get dumped. <laughs> That's the only reason not to make the girl sad. <laughs> APR dating tips. <laughs> don't make the girl sad. <laughs> do make the girl happy. You'll find this works in any scenario. <laughs> Even if you're gay male. <laughs> you're like, hey, hold on, bro. I gotta just go make that woman over there really happy real quick. <laughs> That way, this date between the two of us is going to go solid. Honestly, if someone stopped in the middle of the date with me and was like, hold on, I need to go make that person's night over there, and then came back afterwards, <laughs> I'd be like, I think I would be impressed more than <laughs> more than anything else. Oh, wait, if I get dumped, what would happen to our four-day agreement? Lugico might refuse to uh, get me the information we need to go back to the previous world line. No, she's not like that. She knows I still loved her exactly as much when she was <laughs> trans as when she was cis. Mayuri's life also hangs in the balance. That's also important, I guess. So I'm sure no matter what I say, she'll give me her mom's pager number. Or is it naive of me to think that? Either way, even though I'm doing this to save Mayuri, I can't just trample on Lukako's pure maidenly heart. Hmm. No! Why do we have to see Luka upset face so often? I, I just, I just, I just want to protect. Welcome to Stein's Gate. No. Whose idea was it to play this fucking game? <laughs> Neither one of us speaks. <clears throat> Mutual distrust, suspicion, discomfort. One word could shatter our temporary relationship. Luca is the first to break the suffocating silence. Um, I think I want to take a ride on your disco stick. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. You never roll with my edits. <laughs> you always just leave it to me to do all the riffing, and then you're like, oh. I'll just... <laughs> Let's cancel today's date. No! No! 
Lukako bows her head and goes back into the shrine office. I hurt her. I feel guilty. But at the same time, I feel guilty. <laughs> I hate myself for it. Instead of returning to the lab, I stand on the bridge in front of the station and gaze blankly at the stream of people. Actually, you know what? That's why that's why Okabe hasn't ha hasn't started dating anyone. If he did, it would be dead within like 24 hours. Yeah. Because him. Yeah. <laughs> Ferris might be visiting the lab. Ferris was at the lab on this day when I first came to this world line. My actions shouldn't have influenced my worries, so she should have called Ferris over to show her the costumes. Right now, I don't want to see anybody. I need to think about clothes field. But try as I might, no ideas come. No solutions. Oh, and my favorite, game. <laughs> Just I do love game. game. <laughs> there is only one. There is only one. There is only one. Let us know in, ch in, uh, in chat. Let us know in the comments below if you are a fan of game. <laughs> Mukiko agreed to go back to being trans if I went out with her for a time. I've stayed faithful to that, so... Faithful? How? I just made a huge mistake back there. I've done nothing but make Luca go sad. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's the 15th, the day Komima opens. The day Mayuri dies. At the very least, I need to make our relationship last until that evening. Tomorrow is the end. But I'm not confident I can show Luca a fun time. It's really hard. I've never even tried having someone ride on my disco stick. <laughs> I've never had fun. <laughs> what is fun? Goes up to Mayuri. Mayuri, I need you to tell me what fun is. <laughs> oh. Instead of fussing over a date, I'll just try something that won't make Luca go sad. Nailed it. 10 out of 10. The next morning after Mayuri and Daru have left for Ariake, I head to the shrine to pick up Lukako. We hop the train at Akiba Station. When she looks a scan at me, I tell her we're going to see Mayuri. Today it won't just be the two of us. It's a party of three. <laughs> I don't know what to say when we're alone. I'm afraid I'll just hurt her again. It's time to try and it's time it's time to it's time to <laughs> help me out here. I believe in you. Thanks. It's time to try something different. Nailed it. When we get off at the train at Tokyo Big Set, Lukuko stares in wonder at the scene spread before her. People, people, people. People as far as the eye can see. Welcome to Komima, the otaku festival. It's the first day, so Big Sight's more crowded than usual. This is my plan, to take Lukuko to Komima. Komima. I'm not making her cosplay, of course. Lukuko wouldn't even do it at Mayuri's request, and I don't want to force her to do anything she doesn't want to. Where was that attitude, like, 20 episodes ago, Okabe? <laughs> We're just here to look and have fun. Like the bunch of normies we are. First order of business is to hook up with Mayuri and Daru. Those two live and breathe Komima, so I'm sure they'll have a lot to talk about. Conversation will flow, and I'll be off the hook. How wonderful to have friends you can count on. Hey, can you take my girlfriend on a date for me? <laughs> Show her a good time. <laughs> But, you know, have her back by nine and don't do any... <laughs> Okabe's a fucking mafia boss. <laughs> Take the lady out for me and show <laughs> Of course, bringing a date to Komima is a surefire way to earn myself the hatred of otaku everywhere. But no matter, I'll endure their contempt if that's what it takes to make Lukako happy. You could ask her what she wants to do on a date. APR dating tip, uh, number 55. Uh, ask the person you're going out on a date with what they want to do. That, that's like a surefire dating tip. So I, so resolved, I strike through the crowd towards our designated rendezvous point. Lukako, clearly overwhelmed by the sheer number of people, struggles to follow behind. <laughs> she just comes up. Tuturu, Okarin, Luka-chan. Tuturu, 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 tuturu. Do, 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 do. My hero, he just comes up behind you and tuturus even more intensely. Tuturu to assert dominance. <laughs> Tuturu pose. <laughs> Near the edge of the parking lot, I see the petite Mayuri wave her hands high. 
There aren't as many people here. Hey. Aww. Good CG. Welcome to Komima, Ruka-chan. Yeah, it's my first time coming here, but it's amazing. Take it easy. Sorry, had to have some more of my sugar jizz. Where's Daru? Um, Daru-kun's in line for promo goods. He couldn't come. He said maybe he'll join us later if he survives the battle. <laughs> Damn. The, <laughs> the battle in which we die. I remember now. <laughs> Actual battle. Damn, that means he won't be able to join up with us for at least another hour. Didn't he forgo the battle just this once? Nope. World lines. Nope. Lukako's eyes dart from place to place. She's clearly uncomfortable in the chaotic atmosphere. Great that I took an introvert to a place like this. Yeah. That was a great decision for a date. APR dating tip number 75. Always take introverts to really crowded places when you go on a date. And always take extroverts to incredibly quiet places where you should not do socializing. Exactly. Per that is exactly how... It in fact, take your extroverts to, like, church service. <laughs> <laughs> That's your date. In fact, everyone go to church. <laughs> Why are you on this channel? You need it. Uh, if you've already gotten this far into our channel, it might be too late for you, but uh, you need the word of Jesus <laughs> to uh, turn the gay away. <laughs> APR dating tip number 95. Don't pray the gay away. The gay is awesome. APR dating tip number 96. A corollary to number 95. Uh, be gay at all times. Do crimes. Be gay, do crimes. Uh, even on the train ride, we barely spoke to each other because things were awkward. I kept muttering to myself about being gay and doing crimes, and Luca was like, I'm not really sure I'm comfortable with that right now. <laughs> I've never done a crime before. And then Okabe was like, oh, why don't we just hop the turnstile here? You know, get you started young. <laughs> and Luca was like, oh, okay. <coughs> What's the point in being a couple if it turns out like this? <laughs> It was easier to talk when we weren't supposed to be boyfriend and girlfriend. Lukako seemed to enjoy herself more, too. Was it a mistake to bring her to Komima? Almost assuredly. Also, this is where Mayuri dies, and I know that. <laughs> so, I'm not sure why the, I thought this was a good idea. Well, Lukako didn't refuse. Even when I told her we were going to Komima, she just nodded obediently. <laughs> That's your line. Oh, so it is. Mayushi will show you around, okay? Um, there's lots of people, so we've got to be careful. Remember to keep six feet between each other. At all times. First, we'll go to the cosplay area. And then we'll go inside. Oh! You two are going to cosplay! <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Actually, I think Okabe would be into it, wouldn't he? He would refuse. He would refuse? He would be into it and refuse to admit it. Ex exactly, exactly. It'd be like a Karisu scenario where yeah. clearly he'd be into it, but also would, like, not admit it. Mary's more cheerful than usual. She must be happy to have us here. I'm not going to tell her she dies in six hours. Sorry, five hours, 54 <laughs> minutes. Hey, is there anything you guys want to see? Lukako, is there anything you want to see? Hmm, be inside of your eyelids. <laughs> that didn't come out the way I thought it. You know what? Uh, no. <laughs> Lukako shakes her head. It's your line, go ahead. It's my first time, so <laughs> if Okabe-san wants to see something, I'll go see it. How how, uh, how uh, strong-willed of you, <laughs> not going for the easy one there. 
it's my first time, so be gentle. <laughs> Sorry, I see the low-hanging fruit, I take it. That's how it works here. I'm not particularly interested in anything. Just as a general state of being. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that checks out. <clears throat> Lukako looks unhappy. Crap, I shouldn't have answered like that. Hey, Luka-chan, if you come to the cosplay area, I'm sure you'll change your mind about cosplaying. Okay, count me out. <laughs> <laughs> Mayuri talks happily to Lukako. I'm glad I chose to rely on, on Mayuri. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's an extrovert and knows how to keep the conversation going. <laughs> I can compliment my friend without insulting her. <laughs> it's not embarrassing at all, see? Because everyone's having fun. We haven't actually met those two yet, have we? Yeah, I don't think so. Kaide-chan and Fubuki-chan are there wearing Mayushi's costumes. I'll introduce you, okay? I don't know how much of a role they play in this game. Because I, I know, forget. I know that they are actual characters in Zero, mm -hmm. Steins Gate Zero. I don't know that they're more than just kind of named extras in this one. You should come tomorrow too. I'll bring costumes for you, and we can cosplay together. Yay! <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice. Kojias. I wonder what that is. Definitely not an anime that they changed a single letter in the title. I I don't know I don't know anything about Code Geass, so I don't know who they're parodying here. I think Okarin would be perfect as Zero Sum from Code Geass. Who was that actually meant to be? Uh, it'll just be the the fucking main character of that thing. I don't oh I I don't know who it is or what it is. We should fucking watch it. Why? What what is it? What is Code Geass about? Uh, giant robots and political machination and plotting. Code Geass, Lelouch of the Rebellion. That's a great title. Huh. Yeah, it's a mecha series. Alright, cool. Yeah, we should watch it. Alright. You gonna read your line, or...? Yeah, I'll consider it. Okay. I'll get back to you on that. Okay. You'll cosplay if Okarin does it with you, right, Luka-chan? You will, won't you? Won't you? Won't you? Won't you? <laughs> Not a chance. S sorry. <clears throat> I can't find who that is. And I'm spending too much time looking at it. No, we made my ears sad! Eh, no way. Oh, my area slumps her shoulders in disappointment. I don't care, because I'm not on the date with her. Yet. Yet. In the end, Lukako and I got fed up with the amount of people and left Ariake early. Yeah, that sounds about right. We took the direct shuttle bus to Akiba that only runs during Komima, but it was so cramped inside I thought I was going to die. <laughs> <laughs> that face. Two introverts go on a date to somewhere crowded. Dot JPEG. Uh, <clears throat> By the time we get back to Akiba, Luke, Go, and I are exhausted. My feet feel like blocks of lead, and I don't have the energy to even attempt conversation. The two of us schlep back to the shrine without speaking a word, <laughs> like Spanish monks under a vow of silence. <laughs> How? How? Ca what's with Okabe and the really great turns of phrase on occasion? <laughs> Lukako doesn't raise a single complaint, but taking her to Komima was obviously a mistake. Lukako's expression has been stiff ever since we met up with Mayuri. Maybe she's still traumatized by Otaku. Time for me to load a previous. Si I mean, send go back in time. <laughs> First time I met Lukako, she was being harassed by Otaku. Maybe they left a bad impression. Did I cut you off? Were you going to say something? I don't remember. Okay, great. We don't talk. We spent most of the day shoulder to shoulder with strangers. I can probably count on my fingers the words I said directly to Lukako today. When we arrive at the shrine, our time as a couple will end. So this is our last chance to talk as boyfriend and girlfriend. 
But I'm confused. What should I talk about? Try thinking about things we have in common. The Demon Sword, Samadare George. The Seishin Zanma School of Swordmanship. But Kreese said to avoid Shinibu bullshit, <laughs> and the dating manual concurred. What else is there? It finally dawns on me. There's nothing else Lukako and I share, except the Chinibio bullshit. <laughs> silence dominates the shrine. The silence could be should be calming, but it's not. I have safely escorted Lukako home. Mayuri's death is just three hours away. The temporary relationship between me and Lukako ends here. Now I just need Lukako to give me her mother's pager number. However, is it really okay to let it end like this? In the end, what will I have done for Lukako? Eh, fuck it, she's not gonna remember any next time <laughs> anyway, right? I haven't done squat, have I? All I've done is hurt her. Uh, uh, uh. Suddenly, Lukako starts sobbing. She covers her mouth with both hands, but can't stop the tears from pouring from her eyes. Lukako, I'm sorry I'm such a dipshit of a boyfriend. When I approach her, Lukako pulls back. Uh, uh. Sniff. Yes, yeah, she says the word sniff out loud here. Lukako wipes the corners of her eyes, but the tears keep flowing, forming a glistening line down each cheek. I'm speechless. I have no idea what to do. A girl's crying before my eyes. It's my duty, as a man, to comfort her. I know that, and yet no words come. I just stand there like a useless statue. The cause of Lukako's tears is undoubtedly me. I didn't treat her right as my girlfriend, even if it was only a temporary arrangement. And now it ends with me watching as Lukako cries. Lukako. I'm the one who did this to her. I am the cause of her grief. And yet... Thank you very much. She thanks me and bows her head. Eh? She lifts her head and smiles shyly through her tears. I was really happy. My standards were so low that even you managed to get over them. <laughs> That we could be together. So happy together? That's a lie. I'm glad I fell in love. With you. Not to discount your feelings, Luca, but you have terrible taste in men. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. That has to be a lie. To my surprise, Lukako takes my hand in hers. Her hand is very warm and delicate. This is the first time I've touched her since we became a couple. <gasps> and it will be the last. Lukako places a note in my hand. And then she pulls away. She bows her head again. Bye now. Lukako turns her back to me, then disappears into the shrine office. <gasps> Jeez, you have terrible taste in men, Luka. I'm sorry. If you're attracted to Okabe, then... <sighs> I look at the note. There's a number written there. Probably her mother's page number. <laughs> she kept her promise. But I... I didn't keep mine. I can't let it end like this. I run full speed back to the lab. Ignoring Kurisu's calls to stop, I slap on the headgear and leap to the past. Oh, Kabe! Oh, I had to click again. Okay. I had to click on the black screen. Nice. Yeah, it was very intuitive. I like that it's like, oh, let's time leap to completely... Because I can't bear the idea of having to date Luca. And then you get through the whole thing and get the information. And it's like, oh, but 
that didn't go as well as it could. I got a time leap so I can make sure that it goes really well. This mm -hmm. thing which I promise I don't want to do. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Do. Yep. I regain consciousness in front of Akihabara Station. Lukako is next to me. We're about to board the train for Komima. Lukako looks a little anxious, but she doesn't raise a single complaint. Oh, we only did it too earlier today. I get it. The shuttle bus pulls up. The huge line of people begins to move. Ellipses. <laughs> We can't go to Komima like this. Shaking off my time leap induced vertigo, I take Lukako by the hand. Um. I just wanted to feel your hand in mine. One last time. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Once we get out of the line, I let go of Lukako's hand and start walking. Okabe san? Um, the bus is here. We're not going to Komima. I suddenly changed my mind for some reason. <laughs> uh... This time, we're doing things my way. Alright, let's see what Okabe's dating tips are. Regrets, he has a few. <laughs> nice. But then again, too few to mention. Oh, it's that one song. Yeah, by my that way. guy. Yeah. Oh, what was his name? Dean Martin. Yeah, probably. Okabe-san, um, where are we going? Ellipses. Okabe-san. I keep walking with Lukako's hand in mine, ignoring everything else. Lukako works bewildered at first, but eventually she says no more and just. Starts following me with a sad expression. Oh no. We arrive at Yanabayashi Shrine. A place devoid of visitors. Where an aura of peace and dignity dominates. Where the cries of cicadas resound. Lukako's home. Finally, I turn to face Lukako. Instead of letting go, I grasp her worn hand even tighter than before. Perhaps it's the heat, or perhaps it's our nervousness. But our hams are damp with sweat. But still, I don't let go. Is this, or is this the steamiest of any of the ones? <laughs> Which is weird, because isn't Luca also the youngest of them? Is she? Yeah. Alright, but everyone's okay age range for each other, right? Like, relative to each other? I cannot confirm that for you. Uh, way to take a good thing and fuck it up. <laughs> You know, we don't need to look it up. I don't care. Lukako is hanging her head. She might cry at any moment. This means our relationship is over, doesn't it? No, it means we're going to Netflix and chill. <laughs> her lips tremble. Her voice trembles. I summon my resolve and answer her with a laugh. <laughs> what are you talking about? Eh? Our couple phase isn't over yet. I strike a pose and mimic a line from a popular card battling anime. Until I witnessed Mary's death, this was how I acted all the time. Now it takes some effort, but I still have it in me. But... Weren't you listening? This time, we're doing things my way. Now, my disciple. <laughs> Bring forth the demon sword, Samadare George. The wind blows. The tree growing over the main building rustles its leaves in response. Lukako looks at me blankly. Tears form in the corners of her eyes. What? Listen, sword fighting is hot. I don't know how to tell you this. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? It is time to continue your training in the Seishin Zanma School of Swordmanship. My training? Talking about your penis? <laughs> if so, this is a little bit obtuse. <laughs> Have you already forgotten what I taught you? 
I like how her her gaze both looks very like are you fucking shitting me right now? But also like oh, suddenly I'm very into this. <laughs> no, but Oka It is Kyoma. <laughs> eh? Have you forgotten my true name, Lukako? I am the insane mad scientist, Hoin Kyoma! Swallowing my embarrassment, I strike another pose. I was so caught up in your beauty that I lost sight of our true relationship. <laughs> Saved it. <laughs> <laughs> I love Luca's like you fucking shitting me right now face. <laughs> but now I've realized the truth. Our relationship was decided from the very beginning. Decided how? I may be a man, and you may be a woman, but our temporary relationship as a couple. Ellipses. I take a deep breath. I gently comb my fingers through Lukaku's hair. I twist my lips into a grin. Matters not! <laughs> uh, I like how Luca, Luca right now is probably equal bits turned on and very confused. <laughs> <laughs> I am I. Lukaku is Lukaku. And Lukaku is my disciple. As I gently stroke her hair, Lukaku puts her warm hand on top of mine. APR dating tip number 53. Uh, stroking people's hair? Like, running your fingers through their hair? Fucking 10 out of 10 right there. Pretty that good. is, that is like, the best date move. It, not maybe not a date move. That's more of just like an intimacy move. Mm -hmm. uh, don't pull that on a date unless, <laughs> unless you are very unless there are some very clear boundaries that have been established. <laughs> but I'm still calling it a date tip. The tears collected in the corners of her eyes suddenly fall. Yes, of course. Okabe, I mean, Kyoma-san, is my master. Well, we can talk about that later, but... Well said! Now, Lukako, bring forth Samadare George! We're gonna drag this reference into the ground if it kills us. Uh, at once. Um, just a moment. I'll be right back. Please stay here, okay? It's okay. This timeline, I haven't finished my sugar juice yet. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere, so hurry. Son of a bitch, these lines. Lukaku reluctantly lets go of my hand. Shyly turns away from me and heads into the shrine office. We spend four hours training, just like we used to. Practice swings with the demon sword. Stories of the sword's history. <laughs> Lectures on the intricacies of the Seishin Zanma sword swordsmanship. All fabricated from my Chinibu delusions. <laughs> I talk. Lukako, dressed now in her Miko robes, listens with rapt attention. Occasionally, we take a break, sit on the shrine stairway, and eat the sweet rice balls Lukako's mother brings us. And that's how we spend an extraordinarily ordinary four hours. Okay, honestly? Yeah. Good dates? Stuff you were doing anyway. Also, specifically good dates. If I went on a date with somebody and they took me to church, handed me a sword, and then made me practice my swordsmanship, I would be confused, but I would probably go back for a second date. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> I'm confused. I'm aroused. 
Either either way, you have them hooked for a second date, if <laughs> only so they can figure out what the fuck is going on. <laughs> All right, that's it for today. Yukako lowers her stance and slowly sheathes the demon sword, Samadare. She looked so beautiful and majestic standing there in flowing white robes, sword shining in her hands. I find myself mesmerized once again. Yukako bows, snapping me out of it. <laughs> Thank you. I think I got a little stronger. Look, my STR stat went up. <laughs> my god, it suddenly turns into Hotful Boyfriend and we suddenly have stats. <laughs> if only. <gasps> no need for humility. Today, you mastered one of the Seishin Zanma style secrets. Type 32 Cherry Bomb. <laughs> but don't get cocky, for you are still weak. Yes, sir. I want to learn even more from you. The breeze feels nice after the sweat we worked up. We savor our comfortable fatigue as we drink the barley tea Lukaku's mother brought for us. I feel like it's been a long time since you last taught me, Kyoma san. <laughs> <laughs> for the fast, the uh, whoop, for the fast poop. One more time. It's okay. Listen, it's really hard to do this. For the past few days, my mind has been under the dread influence of the foul grimoire known as the manual. But I fully recovered from my influence under of the manual. Do not worry. I yeah, returned that's right. to automatic. <laughs> Okabe said fuck the dating books <laughs> and he got to go on a date with a lady and teach her how to use a sword so <laughs> I mean there's some results right there thank goodness you're back to your old self Lukako answers happily and then her expression turns serious as if she's made up her mind about something um Yesterday, you asked me if I had any memories from the other world line. <laughs> Nailed it. Flawless. Seamless. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lukako looks away. I see her hands fidgeting in her lap. Finally, with trembling lips, she speaks. <gasps> <gasps> I do remember. Oh, no. Uh-oh. No surprise. I expected she'd remember after what I experienced with Ferris. I remember, or actually, um, how should I say it? It's a very trans feeling. Hey! We did it! <laughs> Trans. I can't clearly remember it, but at the bottom of my sea of memories, well, in my head, um finally finish the last of this fucking coffee drink. Then Lukako starts pawing at the air above and to the right of her head. It comes in from the right side. That's why Lane has her hair do. It's canon. Oh my god. Are you fucking that's why the, that's why the hair clip is there too. Jesus. Wait, no, that's on the left. Never mind. Stop this. <laughs> it feels like it's around... <laughs> Here somewhere. Achoo. Sorry, I had to pull the sneeze dab real quick. Achoo. Can you confirm that I did dab with one arm? Yeah. Cool. I don't really get it. Anyway, you you remember? Lukako nods. I'm 
sorry I lied yesterday. Don't worry about it. You should be proud to have fooled the great Owen Kioma. So, because I remembered, I knew Mom's pager number without having to ask. She takes out a piece of paper upon which is written the number. I was going to give you this no matter how things turned out today. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Do you know how many times I've been on this date? Listen. <laughs> It took a while before sword fighting came to mind. <laughs> and one more thing. Smooch. Smooch? One more thing. I don't know if it's related to my memories, but... It's about that old computer. <gasps> Do 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 and ellipses and tarot bang. <laughs> now that I did not expect. The IBN fifty one hundred. Yes, I think so. You think so? True. Lukaku did seem like she knew something about the IBN fifty one hundred. Plus, Luca's dad confirmed that it was here at the shrine playing around with our wedding ring again always i have to have a thing to fidget with oh okay i can't record without a fidget toy in can my we get, hands. should we get you like a fidget spinner that way you can always hear this like really faint <laughs> in the background uh fidget spinach please <laughs> don't know if we have a fidget spinach and then one day it suddenly disappeared <clears throat> does lukaku know where it is now just be glad it's not a pen <laughs> Oh god, yeah, that would be bad. I used to be the kind of person that would just hold a pen and constantly click it in and out and in and out while disassembling and reassembling it. Nice. All school day. It was infuriating. Everyone hated it. I bet. I don't hate you, though. <laughs> if that's true, Lukaku, then you might not have to go back to being... Well, it's unclear whether or not you'd still be trans. That's a more of a philosophical question. <laughs> I don't know. We're dealing with trans timeline here. Gender is really confusing now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just align that. <laughs> Basically, it's a matter of saving you like that 50 bucks to update your birth certificate that one time. <laughs> and also your prescription. You know what. But Lukaku faintly shakes her head. I don't think it's that easy. But why not? But... Lukaku grips my hand. Oh, that's my hand. Please come with me. I'll show you. She looks into my eyes. Lukaku is no longer crying. In the fading sunlight, her eyes shine with firm resolve. She brings me to Dai Daibiru. I look up at the huge, towering building. The IBM 5100 is here? Uh, eh to, so ,そっちじゃなくてですね. Um, not there. Lukaku faces away from Daibiru and points. To a coin locker, tucked in a narrow alley. It happened last year, just before New Year's. Lukaku walks up to the coin locker as she talks. The computer was at our shrine until then. Holy shit, that's pretty close. This is the closest we've ever gotten. Until New Year's. That's a contradiction. OBJECTION! <laughs> Your Honor, that's clearly a contradiction the witness testimony. <laughs> Slap here, I need some paper to... <laughs> wrap with my fingers while I'm... It was only two weeks ago that I found the IBM 5100 at Yanabayashi Shrine. Which means I really haven't returned to the original world line. Well, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> 
It's all my fault. I was helping out at the shrine, sweeping the storehouse, when... I broke it by accident. Oh no! You broke it? Is that a not McDonald's in the very background there? Yes. The Kako nods. This is wild. That is pretty wild. That is pretty wild. But I thought Dad would get mad at me if he found out, so... I brought it here and hid it in the coin locker. Huh. Must have been tough bringing it all the way out here. That thing weighs a ton. I Not what was left of it. <laughs> I used my Seishin Zanma techniques. You, you'll need to show those to me later. <laughs> I used a push cart from home. It broke. Too. So I put the push cart in the coin locker as well. And then the coin locker broke, so I put it in another <laughs> coin locker. <laughs> Even so, it must have been hard to get it here with just a push cart. Maybe she was running on adrenaline. When I heard Kyoma-san was searching for it, I was really surprised. This is my surprised face. I know I should have told you the truth, but I thought you'd hate me for it, and I couldn't say anything. <sighs> Nonsense. I would never hate you for that. No matter what, you are still my disciple. Sword date partner? <laughs> it's unclear. I know. Lukako takes the locker key out of her pocket. What she still has? All these months later? It's already been more than half a year, so the management probably took it away. Half a year. I guess it's hopeless then. This locker charges 200 yen per day. Normally, if a coin locker goes unpaid for more than a few days, the management retrieves its contents. And if the owner doesn't claim it within a month, it's usually thrown away. Meaning the IBN 5100 is all ready. Lukaku goes to a large locker at the end of the row, inserts the key, and tries the lock. Ah, it's not locked. I guess that settles it. Sure enough, Lukaku opens the door to reveal an empty locker. <laughs> nah, sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry for snorting at you. Either way, it doesn't matter. There's no point in retrieving a broken IPM 50. Yes, there is. You could... You fucking have Daru. He fixed a time machine. Yeah, He dude. can fix a shitty old IBM. Well, maybe not in the time period, but still, that's better information than we've had before. Like, with that, we could conceivably just message back to stop Luca from breaking it, right? Maybe. It's not your fault. Oh, maybe that's how we'll do Luca end. I'm the one who messed with the timeline. Everything that has happened is my fault. Everything in history that has happened. Everything in history. Yep, everything. Kyoma-san. I'm doing slip knots in my hair. <laughs> Why though? Because I also need a fidget thing. Okay. And slip knots come out easily. That's why I must bear this burden. This bear. Uh, it is literally a bear. Would, would, would you say that there's a certain duality? In your hair? Would you say it's psychosocial? Oh, there it is. Okay, <laughs> we're doing. Okay, I didn't know it was it was duality. Did you get, did you get that hairstyle in Iowa? I'm not getting any of these. Myeri's pain. Suza has pain. Ferris's pain. 
Is her sprite just kind of cut off at the... Yeah, she doesn't Yo, really have... what the fuck? <laughs> oh, God. Luca, where are your legs? And now, Lukako's pain. Everyone's pain. Something occurs to me. What if... Yay! What if I send a email telling Luca go not to sweep the storehouse? How would that change the world line? Hell yeah! Would the IBM 5100 stay at Yanabayashi Shrine, ready for me to retrieve in August as planned? Part of me wants to try sending that email. If it works, Lukaku could stay as she is now. No, I mustn't give in to the temptation. My goal is to restore the world line, not to warp it further. But isn't it kind of... Fix the past to save Mayuri. What do you mean? I, I, I guess we are just trying to get back to... Yeah, right, right, right now our goal is just to get back to where we were at the very beginning of the game. Okay. That's kind of funny, though, because basically... Time, they were able to invent time travel mm -hmm. just by pure coincidence ever, and to discover the things about CERN and all of that. By pure coincidence, everything happened to go that way the first time, and everything they've done since has just taken them farther from it. Yep. From the way that it had already gone. That yep. was already the way it needed to go. That's fucking weird. Or closer weird. to where it needed to go. But remember, remember the whole reason this halt kicked off um, in a roundabout way because he didn't want Carissa to die. Yeah. Or rather, he was like, holy shit, you see that girl die? And then, you know, die. but still. Um, there's something strange about my memories. Strange how? Inside my mind, there are two memories about that old computer mixed together. The first is the memory of me breaking it. The other has no memory of it at all. Oh no, so that means it's not even this world line. The other me didn't break the computer. She swept the main shrine instead of the storehouse. So Lukaku swept the storehouse because she swept the storehouse for reasons that are unclear. For reasons that are unclear in this world line only. Because she swept the storehouse, she broke the IBM 5100 and deposited it into this coin locker. As a result, the IBM 5100 will never reach me. Is this the butterfly effect? Sends another email. Shirk your chores. Don't do work. <laughs> Fuck the man. So, there's no choice. We have to go back to the previous world line. There's no longer any doubt in her eyes. There's no choice. She knows it as well as I. And Ooh. We return empty-handed to Yanabayashi Shrine, which is dyed scarlet by the setting sun. Lukako lets go of my hand after we arrive. We spent the whole walk hand in hand. Aww. Then she turns to me. So this is goodbye. <sighs> yeah. Don't look now that I put my little finger on the other hand and now it's stuck. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> we'll solve that later. You dumbass. I love you. <laughs> I'm really happy that I could train with you again. Choo choo. <laughs> <laughs> she smiled. That was not a difficult joke to get. That should not have taken you that long. But her cheeks are dyed pink. I can tell she's desperately holding back her tears. For those tears hold a different meaning than the ones I saw before I time leapt. At least, I'd like to think so. I didn't really do anything boyfriend-like for you, did I? That doesn't matter. I would just leave it for now. <laughs> no, I have to get it off my <laughs> finger. It's stuck and it feels Damn. bad. <laughs> I'm sincerely relieved. Because Lukaku smiled for me. There we go! I'm free! <laughs> 
Back to the other hand. Oh no, now we're divorced. No, it's on, That's the, how it's, it works. No, it's on the correct hand. Okay. Youch. I did not realize that my knuckles were that much more swollen on my dominant hand than on my non-dominant hand. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Holy fuckles. <laughs> <laughs> it's my knuckles. <laughs> Please, save Mayuri-chan. Mayuri-chan is really important to me. Lukako. Lukako. Wahaha. <laughs> um, please go already. If you don't, I might cry. So, please. Thank you for everything. Honestly, this iteration is probably, like, the best one because we just... What did we have to do to get past this turtle? We have to go on a date with Luca. And by go on a date, we mean don't go on a date. Just do the usual crap you already did. And discover the real date where the f friends we made along the way. <laughs> but I think it's only that good because of our edits. I mean, yes. <laughs> uh, this is when I use that phrase, right? Um, L, Psy, Kongali. Close enough. It's Kongru. I find myself smiling. Lukako forces a smile too. L, Psy, Kongru. She bows deeply. Best timeline, she gets it right. Oh! She doesn't raise her head. A sign for me to go already. No, smooch. It's fine, don't smooch. I turn back to the archway at the shrine's entrance. My feet are heavy. They won't advance. I stop in front of the stairs. Then I take up my phone. Okabe, Mayuri called. She was mad. You stood her up on your promise to go to Komima. Christina, I need you to enter a number into the phone wave. Name subject to change. Also, Mayuri's not mad anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what? Explain yourself. Please, just do it. I'm sending a email. I hear a sigh on the other end of the phone. The number is... 865... What is it? 8675309. That's a big number. That's a big number. Meat, meat, veg, veg, meat, meat, veg, veg. When she sees this, Lukaku's mother will probably think it's a prank. <laughs> and then she'll assume the email we sent earlier was also a prank. If that still doesn't change the world line, we can just try something else. Pagers in 1992 didn't display the sender's numbers. Lukaku's mother won't know who sent it. I already told Karisu the timer setting. Everything's ready. I hang up once I confirm the 42-inch CRT is on. I think this is about where we drop a hot save, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Let's uh, save our game. Now I just need to call the phone wave. Name subject to change. Then the world line will change. Lukaka will go back to being trans. Although she was still trans now, but just... It's confusing, alright? <laughs> Her memories will disappear. Mari won't die today. However, I hesitate to open my address book. My thoughts turn to Lukaku, who is probably still watching me from behind. If I turn around, what will I see on her face? I want to check, but I don't think she'd want that. Lukaku finally smiled for me today, but I still have lingering reservations inside. This time I'm about to sacrifice Lukaku's memories. 
The memories of the 17 years she lived this way on this world line. The memories of her parents who rejoiced when their daughter was born. I'm about to er erase all of that. But if I don't, I will be rejecting the 17 years Lukaku lived on the other world line. <laughs> Nailed it. I will be rejecting <laughs> the memories of their parents who rejoiced when their son was born and then also rejoiced when their son came out to them at a very young age and supported her while she transitioned. <laughs> Even so. Is this okay for me to do? I'm lost, and I cannot take another step. I've sacrificed the memories of two friends already. Two? Two. Only two? Two. Alright. <laughs> two. Two. <laughs> Stop this. Stop. <laughs> the sight of their tears is burned into my mind. I. Something soft presses against my back. Luca goes embrace me from behind. Oh, oh, Luca! I hear faint sobbing. What expression is she making now? Even without looking, I can tell. <laughs> it's in the CG, so I can tell. I really don't want to change back. Her words are like needles stabbing into my heart. Because, because, if I change back, I'll have to hide my feelings for you. It would be wrong for me to love you. Well, if I actually, back. rolls out whiteboard again. <laughs> <laughs> I have gay friends. Some of my best friends are gay. Thank you, Okarim. But what she doesn't know is that I still loved her even before. <laughs> I just didn't know how to reciprocate. But fortunately for her, I am heterosexual. <laughs> Stop this, Okabe. My memories of today will vanish too, won't they? <laughs> that we held hands and walked together? <laughs> that we trained together after such a long time? Choo choo. <laughs> <laughs> That I'm touching Okabe-san's body right now? Well, I mean, we can talk about it. I don't want to forget. I don't. Because I love you. I love you, Okabe-san. I want to save Mayuri-chan too. And I understand there's no other way, but... It still hurts. Them gender feels. <laughs> At the very least, I want to keep my memories of today. <laughs> if I'd known it would hurt this much. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. And then I never would have wished for this in the first place. Dukako. Dukako. <laughs> Sniff. 
<laughs> Why did you say that out loud? I don't know. I'm just reading my line. I'm sorry. I know that doesn't matter to you, right? Sniff. Even before, you're still Lukako to me. That will never change. Yes, it makes me happy to hear you say that. Okabe-san, please send the email. Please, send it quickly. If you let me feel your warmth any longer, I... I might say even worse things. I can't hold back my feelings anymore. Lukako, is this really okay? Okabe-san, please. I'm about to sacrifice someone again. Is it my place to make that decision? My fingers tremble around my phone. But Lukako embraces those trembling fingers with her own. Will you remember me? Yes. With just one call to the phone wave, name subject to change, I can send a message to Luca's mother's pager. Luca's mother's pagers. <laughs> Dogs. <laughs> Friends. <laughs> Too many possessives in a row. Your cousin's <laughs> second cousin's roommate. What was the gag from Spaceballs? I don't remember. Will you remember me this way? <gasps> yes. If I make the call. Will you remember these four short days we were together? <gasps> yes. No! I can't do it! And what exactly what can't we- wait. Wait, it- Fuck it. Join us next time. <laughs> Nailed it with that episode ending, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <sighs> join us next time when we uh, do Luca end. And see what the fuck happens there and how it continues to be bad. Yeah, I'm sure they'll find some way to fuck this up. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. But right Ooh. now, I'm hopeful. Fingers crossed. Good times for all. I'm going to cross your fingers, too. Yeah, do it. I don't know if that counts. It's not crossed. Ah, son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> oh, that counts. See you all next time for Luca End. Bye. Bye.